Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. It's a bit of a different reading today uh, that I'm doing. Uh, it's based on a rumour that is floating around on Twitter and Instagram and yes I know we're always talking about rumours and speculation and just a tarot reading for entertainment purposes and all the rest of it. But normally I know what the rumour is that I'm reading on. Uh, let's just put it like that. Today I have no idea what the rumour is that I'm reading on, which is why I can't choose one of my more exotic tarot decks. And I am just using the normal Rider weight tarot deck for this reading. And this reading... Um, and I have to interrupt myself to say I have a full house here. I have Fluffy who's lying on the floor staring at me and scratching the furniture. I've got Tess snoring and the old dog, the dog, who's also here. So full house, don't normally have a full house when I do these readings. So there might be some scratching and coming and going and doors opening and closing and all of that. Uh, but anyway, that's just by the way. The point of this uh, reading that I'm doing today and late in the day today, uh, a busy week ahead of me and a busy next week ahead of me and then I can relax again. I'll be out of the woods with my day job, which is also a night job at the moment. So I've got about another 10 days of tough times. I'll be a little bit tired. I'll be a little bit late getting these readings to you. Probably only have time for one reading a day. And certainly today, only one reading. And today, as I say, a bit strange, this reading, because I don't know what the rumour is but this rumour that's going around what it's about uh, it going around on Twitter and uh, Instagram and it is from somebody who has a friend who seems to be a journalist and the friend has heard stories from the ex-newspaper that he used to work for that there is something very hush-hush going on a big royal story brewing very small team working on it uh, the story is ready but it's going back and forth with legal and legal are holding it up checking and cross checking and uh, there is a, pro a, a cons uh, possibility that the story might never see the light of day because similar story in the past was blocked by a super injunction according to the source of the rumor uh, it is to do with non-working royals, which narrows it down to Sussexes and Prince Andrew, most likely, although there are other, other non-working royals. It has to do with non-working royals, and it has to do with the time frame of 2019 to 2020. Of course, the Sussexes were still around in the UK at that point, and there is speculation that there were some financial dealings that were not exactly above board by the Sussexes. Um, there is a possibility that it's personal um, story, and there is a possibility that it's financial. The source is leaning towards the financial side of things because one of the two writers working on the story is someone who comes from the city. He has a city background, meaning the city of London, meaning financial um, heart of London. So I think that that is all we have. We know it's about non-working royals. We know it's to do with 2019, 2020. We know it could be financial. It's a big story. It's a royal story. It's The, the lawyers are busy with it. They have not tapped palace sources apparently for this story. It's a very much a self-contained little story in the paper. These few journalists, the lawyers, the in-house lawyers, it hasn't been sent out to outside lawyers. So it sounds quite interesting. It could all just be absolute hogwash, of course. Uh, but we're going to have a look today, as I say, a little bit different. I'm going to look at who it could be about. I'm going to look at what it could be about and what's going on behind the scenes. And then, of course, will we ever read anything, hear anything about the stories? There are lots of silly stories going on really about the Harkles at the moment. Some I have already read on, some I'm not really particularly enthused about reading on. Um, waiting for the big stories to start dropping again in November. Basically, that to me is what's going on. Cards falling on the floor, which means we're ready with the Ordinary Rider weight Tarot. Um, let's just give them one more shuffle. And um, then we will put out uh, the special um, a 
spread that I have designed for this reading because as I say it's not something I've ever done before I've never read on something that I actually don't know what I'm reading on um, so I'll explain the cards as we go and um, I'm using a, a system I don't normally read for these tarot uh, readings these royal readings where I use two cards for the main question so that they color each other and they give me extra information it's a little bit harder to read like that I don't like doing this on this channel generally because I like to get just one card that tells me a thing and then I clarify it if I need to so as I say all of it different and why not we've just had that Scorpio new moon the eclipse um, um, energy is all a bit shaken up at the moment I know people around me are very tired very kind of weird energy I'm feeling a bit strange myself there's um, changes in my life going on not radical and drastic but certainly situations are um, are moving and maybe this royal story is going to move and shift something and I'm interested to see the bottom of this deck come out this ten of swords in reverse because this card flew out when I was shuffling I don't know if you saw it maybe I could see it from the angle that I'm looking at and it's telling me to look at that ah, and we get the royal family so we might as well we've got the ten of pentacles it's a big story it's a money story looks like it's a money story and someone's reputation is ruined with the story ten of swords whoever this person is a reputation ruined this is the underlying energy ace of pentacles in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse somebody um, lost a lot of money somebody tried something somebody lost something and somebody has um, hit the skids because of it that's our underlying energy for this reading but let's see um, let's see we start over here and we end over here and we go down this is just tell us a descriptor for what is going on and um I'll put these cards where you can still see them a little bit oh goodness oh for a big tarot table getting there getting there and um nine of wands nine of wands somebody is very embattled i'm getting prince andrew sense from this very embattled um because he's the one who is really um and Tess is giving a big sigh as I say that. He is the one, I wish you could see Fluffy. It's very hot this afternoon, evening actually, as I'm doing this. She's lying on her back. Um, it's not an elegant pose. <laughs> Cooling herself. Um, anyway, uh, it's a nine of wands. It's somebody who's been through the mill, somebody who is already um, damaged uh, with that nine of wands. Somebody who's trying to um, barricade themselves in somebody who's trying to shore themselves up shore their defenses up and uh, ring fence themselves and say um, I'm still standing look at me I'm not down um, yes I've been through the mill I've been through all those uh, scandals um, quite a few scandals he's been through most recently of course with the uh, the court case in America Virginia Roberts as she was at the time um, what's her face now in jail um, con completely blank I can't think of her name Jelaine uh, Maxwell uh, just talking about what a dear friend Prince Andrew was so I'm getting that energy this is somebody who is embattled already somebody who's damaged somebody who um, has almost um, fallen over but not quite underlying energy they have fallen over and that's to do with money so let's see who I'm getting two cards for who two cards for what and two cards for what's going on behind the scenes in terms of lawyers and possible super injunctions and and what is going on behind the scenes just generally whatever universe wants to tell us and we get the two of cups and the queen of cups in reverse we're getting a lot of water energy and prince andrew of course is a water sign he's a pisces um i'm trying to think of who a female figure is who is not working who is um possibly involved and it may well have to do with prince andrew and uh the lady in prison um, I don't know what sign she is, uh, oddly enough, but there is a there is a um, a partnership that has has um, come adrift, broken, 
and if somebody is very upset about it and um, very upset about it, a broken heart, somebody is scorned, um, somebody who is the Queen of Queen of Cups is always looking at the past. Somebody who's looking at the past. It's not Fergie. So it's not Fergie energy. Don't think it's got to do with her. She's had quite some scandals as well in her time as a royal. Fergie has. But it's telling me that if we're dealing with non-working royals, are we dealing with water signs? How are we dealing with Prince Andrew? And we're dealing with a partnership that went south. And there is speculation that he and Shalane did have something more than just a friendship um, at certain times. Um, so it may have something to do with their um, dealings or his dealings with other women. Broken partnerships, a angry woman. Not sure uh, what Virginia is, what sign she is either. I'm sure I knew because I've read on her in the past and I've gone blank and I've forgotten about it. Um, I don't think she's a water sign woman, but that doesn't necessarily signify anything. Um, it is the, the feeling around these cards of that there is a woman scorned here who might just have some dirt on this man this embattled man that could absolutely destroy him. Absolutely. So let's see the what. We've got a who. I'm not getting Harry and Meghan energy in this at all. What? And that's ambition, that's greed, that's fighting, and that's money. We've got money card again. This is a money situation. Fighting about money, conflict about money, possibly even using his position with the four of pentacles uh, because the four of pentacles is about control is about hanging on to what you've got your status and your position and your privileges perhaps in using his privileges in situations where there is some conflict he did have some dealings he was a trade something um not ambassador trade representative or something like that he had some kind of portfolio like that apparently he was quite good at it went around and sold britain as an enterprise as a place come and invest with us um then that all stopped at some stage because it got a bit dodgy so this is plausible we're in plausible territory here money using status using position using privilege to influence and to in situations where there's conflict there might have been dealings with arms manufacturers and things like that going back i'm trying to mentally file through notes in my head there were some dealings with some quite dodgy um uh, what's the word stands a satellite state of the old Soviet Union. Um, allegedly, the, somebody from one of those pretty um, dubious countries, I think, bought um, the house, the hideous house, ranch-style house that he and Fergie built, and it was a complete white elephant, and somebody took it off their hands, paid top dollar for it, and proceeded to demolish it. But there is something, there's something controversial here. There is some involvement in conflict that he shouldn't have been involved in using status and money. It's about that. I think this is about Prince Andrew and I think it's about his money dealings. And I know there are people on this channel in comments who get very upset when I'm critical of Prince Andrew. Um, I don't have an axe to grind with a man. I know he was a war hero. I know he was very popular at one stage. He was probably the most popular of that generation of royals he was quite a heartthrob um, the queen certainly loved him um, but he's made some bad choices in his life and yes um, many of us put my hand up I've made some bad choices in my life I'm not a public figure and so um, it doesn't stick with me forever and I'm grateful to uh, for that I'm really grateful for that um, but for him difficult difficult situation of something from the past that he's done that she knows about this woman scorned uh, is revealing and has possibly revealed to these reporters what's going on behind the scenes why the lawyers why the delay um, anything universe wants to tell us we get we've moved to the ten of wands and the queen of swords in reverse and it's telling me 
that this would have been a very difficult burden for the Queen, the late Queen. And possibly they held off with publishing it because they were waiting for her to pass. And that was about, oh, I've completely lost track of time. Uh, when, when was that? September, early in September, was it the 8th of September? Um, so that's the time frame that he's talking about, about five weeks that's been tied up in legal. And possibly because that burden has now gone, it would have been a burden for her, the Ten of Wands, terribly difficult, something that she might have had to deal with, face that might have damaged her reputation because the Queen of Swords is in reverse here. She often came through in readings as the Queen of Swords because she was, her official birthday was a Gemini birthday and in her capacity as a monarch, she was that wise, head, um, cool, um, shrewd, saw things objectively. But of course, where Prince Andrew came, uh, uh, was, it, was involved, she was quite emotional about him and possibly not always entirely objective and wise about her decisions to do with him. So I think the delay literally had to do with that and that now the, uh, um, the break is off. Basically, they're going and they're checking and they're double checking and doing their due diligence so that the story can come out, or whatever the story is. Um, not Harkle, not Harkle. I'd be um, pretty amazed if looking at these cards, this is a Harkle story. I think whatever this story is, it spells the end for Prince Andrew as a public figure. And I feel quite solemn and I feel quite sad when I'm saying this. Um, there's a strange energy around, as I said at the beginning of this reading, a very difficult energy to navigate. And I think it is... Um, there's no, there's no escaping one's choices at this point and one's decisions and one's past that it's, it's mopping up time and answer, pay the piper time. So let's see the outcome of this. Uh, are we going to know more about this? Is it going to be buried quietly? And we get the hanged man in reverse. We get the hanged man in reverse, which is action after a period of uh, being stuck, of being left hanging. So something is going to happen. There is a delay. The story has been on hold. And I think it has been on hold because of respect for the late Queen. And her position and her personal feelings. Uh, the royal family and um, their status and all the rest of it. But... This person who has been in limbo, who has been hanging around, waiting, who has not been able to um, act, whose hands have been tied, is now cut down, is freed, is loose, is able to bring whatever insights they've got because it's the card of enlightenment, the hanged man. While that person is stuck and dangling, that's when the card is upright. Um, it's a, a bit of a... a, 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 a a crazy card this it's a neptune card so uh, even though the person in the card is in the reverse that card is upright and the person is gaining enlightenment gaining insight information as they hang there cut down freed they take that information and they go forward they act in the world um, they stop also being a victim and they stop feeling like they might be punished or threatened and there's some element in here it's it's lurking behind a somewhat menacing energy. And it could be a somewhat menacing energy that's coming from that prison uh, over in America. Just saying. Because it was odd that she should pop up suddenly and say what she said. Um, let's ask about it. As I say, only reading today. Uh, let's ask about the menace, the undertones of menace that I'm feeling in this read as I'm doing them. We have got the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles, so there's plenty of menace in there. But possible menace coming from across the ocean, coming from a prison cell, let's just say. There are people connected. Um, that uh, warnings might have been noted by him himself. Our wounded warrior there. Of course, the Nine of Wands is traditionally the wounded warrior. And he, of course, was a warrior. Although Harry too, you could describe... Oh, no, we can't have the whole deck. 
reckon you could describe Harry as a wounded warrior, but he's not wounded in the sense Prince Andrew is not yet going to be, in my opinion. All my readings point that way. But Prince Andrew is the one who, in the court of public opinion, is finished. And we're going to ask one more time, and if nothing comes out, we're going to close the reading. Um, ask about the, the vibe that I'm getting. And we are not going to get an answer. Doesn't want to answer. Um, doesn't want to get an answer. But I will leave that underlying energy on this tarot table to close the reading. Because it looks to me like somebody that uh, was involved with the lady in the prison cell. Just looks to me like her. And uh, there. So that's your rather strange reading. Uh, for today, as I say, it just felt like doing something a little bit different. And uh, good luck, everybody, in these strange times. And I will hopefully see you again tomorrow. If I don't show up uh, for a day or two, it's literally because of deadlines and busy, busy, busy. Not for lack of trying, though. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.